What is the hunger situation in Sudan, the wider Sahel Belt, and in Ethiopia, a country that was synonymous with hunger and malnutrition in the 1980s? Uh, Sudan now is almost 50% of our population are facing acute um, food insecurity. Uh, the country wasn't in a good shape prior to the conflict, but the conflict came and then added more uh, oil to the fire that was already going. Sudan was a host to um, refugees from other countries as well, despite um, the situation, the economic situation of the country. So 19 million people are projected that we need humanitarian assistance. Now we are facing with issues like um, access because of the security situation. Khartoum is the most difficult to access at this time. West, West Darfur is another um, uh, area where we have difficulties to access. We have been able to, um, to bring food from neighboring countries like Chad. Um, we have been able to reach like 1.5 million Sudanese since the start of the, of the conflict. There are also the areas, for example, in, the, in North Sudan, which are sort of the calm, uh, but where there are the displaced, also who moved to this um, to this location and where you have the host communities also are showing also the burdens of this when you have a country in this crisis import of food is disrupted uh, traffic or uh, trade routes are disrupted and so on um, so it, it doesn't look good uh, it wasn't looking good even before the crisis and now it's uh, it's going on the on absolutely uh, wrong direction. The Sahel is also have been experiencing um, climate issues, uh, armed conflicts that are ongoing there in the Sahel, the Boko Haram and the ISIS and all these things. Uh, but there is also political instability and so on. Um, we are seeing the situation in uh, in Burkina Faso where population are crossing into neighboring countries like in uh, in Togo, in Benin, in Ivory Coast and in, uh, in Ghana. You have the situation positively improved the food security situation in Mali in the past uh, months, uh, where it reduced from 42% uh, to 37%. Slide. So there is positive. But then there is a situation now in, in Niger, where there is sac sanction and borders are closed. Uh, knowing that it's a landlocked, landlocked country where import is like um, essential for that. So we are talking about 3.6 million people that uh, we need to, uh, we need to, uh, we need to reach. 1.5 million of them are an, on, on emergency um, threshold or situation there. The Horn of Africa is again also projected to face another round of, uh, of drought um, and the ongoing sort of, call it, um, um, conflicts there, be it in the, um, uh, in, in the Somalia region or in, the, um, uh, in Ethiopia. So all this together is, of course, adding to the, to the situation or, or the food security situation.